Hello, hello! It's Marjorie from Fiber Queen Vermont and today we're going to be knitting the Hidden Lace Cowl. We're going to start with size 9 knitting needles, 24 inches. I have clover knitting needles and I've got some Olengra Bulky which I am going to do a cable cast on. I'm going to make a knot, slip knot, and insert the needle. And then I'm going to insert the needle into that loop. Pull another loop through, put it on the needle and keep it kind of loose. Then I'm going to go in between the two stitches pull it up and then I kind of twist it like that. Okay, so I've got 96 stitches, which I've counted like 10 times, and I have to make sure that they are all going in the same direction, that they're not twisted. Okay, so I'm going to double check, triple check, make sure they're not twisted. Okay, and then I'm going to put a stitch marker. You can use one of these cute little, I just started using these, but for years I just used a rubber band, okay? You can use that, no problem. But I'm going to use my cute little stitch marker. I've got the long, the part attached to the yarn over here on this side. This is just how I do it. <laughs> so, Again, I've checked to make sure it's not twisted. Oops. And I am going to knit. One. Two. Three. So, I'm going to knit three. And then I'm going to purl three. So I bring the yarn in the front. And I'm going to purl. This yarn is so nice and fluffy. My friend Laura dyes it. And this yarn, this color I'm using, she hand dyed for me. It's a custom dye, so I don't know if it's available, but she has lots of other gorgeous colors. So I'm doing knit three, purl three for the first row. So I'm going to go around and just do that. Coming into the end here. Knit three. And we are going to do our final purl three. I like to keep it all kind of close together at the end here. So there we go. We did our first row. I'm going to transfer this stitch marker, keeping this kind of tight, close together here. And now we're going to start our second row. We just This is knitting in the round, so we're just going to keep going around in circles. And the second row is knit one, purl one. 
keeping that tight right in there. And then I'll weave in this piece at the end. So I knit one, purl one. Knit one, purl one. And this is why knitting is so relaxing. Because you get a rhythm going and you forget about all the crap that you think you're supposed to be doing. And you just focus on your knitting. So nice. People that don't knit don't understand the magic. All right, so I'm going to go around and do knit one, purl run, and then I'm going to do another row of the knit three, purl three, as you can see in the pattern. And I'm going to be starting row two. So the first row, row one, was knit, all knit. All right, so here we go. Try to keep this simple. Row two is, I'm going to slip, slip. I did those both knit-wise. Then I'm just going to put my needle in here. Got both stitches together, and I'm going to knit it. So that was an SSK. Then I'm going to knit one, knit two together. I'm going to do a yarn over where I just bring the yarn to the front and it's ready to knit again. And I'm going to do another yarn over. So let's try that again. This is just how we're working one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. So we're going to work the next six. I'm just going to repeat this. It's going to be slip, slip, knit, knit one, Knit two together, yarn over, knit one, and another yarn over. I have to kind of hold it, this last yarn over. And then I'm going to do my slip, slip, put that together, knit. Knit one, knit two together, yarn over. See, really for the yarn over, I'm just bringing it forward. That's all. This is a yarn over. Just over. Knit one. Got another yarn over. And I have to just kind of hold it. And I do my slip, slip, knit, and I do a knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit one, yarn over. Okay? So you just keep doing that till the end, those same six stitches. So this is what the first eight rows looks like. There's the twin rib. And here's the pattern, the lace pattern. So I snuck ahead a little. This is where I'm at, the pattern. As you can see, I am, but I wanted to show you how to do row four of the pattern because I showed you row two. All odd number rows are knit. So we did two, I knit three, 
and now I well I'm almost done I'm going to finish knitting row three there we are see when you get to a loop you just kind of knit into the front of it that was a yarn over all right so row four we're going to slip as if to purl when we were doing our SSKs, we were coming at it as if to knit, which was going like that. But for this stitch, the slip one, knit two together, PSSO, we are going to slip one. Then we're going to knit two together. And then we're just going to pull that slipped stitch over. What PSSO stands for. P pull slip stitch over. Then we're going to knit one yarn over. Knit one yarn over and knit one. Those are our six. So again we will slip one purlwise coming at it from this side. Then we'll knit two together and we will I like to get them down to this it doesn't make too big of a loop otherwise they get too big so there you go that's how it's looking um, that was my slip two slip one knit two together PSSO I'm gonna do a knit one Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one. So that's row four. Row five will be knit the entire row, and I will come back to show you row six. All right, so I'm finishing row five. Knit. And I'm on row six. Right away, I'm going to start off with a yarn over. First stitch, knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, knit one and knit two together. This is the same as row two, but you start with a yarn over. If you look, you'll see they're the same stitches. Um, so again, it's yarn over, knit one, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, Knit one, knit two together. There you go. It's looking nice. Love these colors. Okay, now we are on row eight, which is basically the same as row four, but we start with the knit one. On row four, we start with the slip one, knit two, knit two together, PSSO. Here we're going to knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one. And then we're going to slip one as if to purl knit two together and pass that stitch over. P-S-S-O. I'll do it again. This is row eight. We're knit one, yarn over, knit again, yarn over, and then we've got slip one, Oh, 
Wait a minute. Made a mistake. Made a mistake. <laughs> Got a little confused there. Uh, lost track, so I'm going to just count. Knit one yarn over, knit one yarn over, knit one, slip one, knit two to the piece. Okay, that's that one. Knit one, yarn over, knit one. So I'm a yarn over, and then I have a knit one. And then, now I will, because I, I kind of knew something was off, because this was kind of too big a stitch for this slip. So it's slip one, hit two together, and I'll pass that over. All right, we'll try this one more time to be more smooth. Hit one, oh no, hit one, oh no, hit one, slip one, knit two together. S S O. So that is going to be for row eight, which is the second set. I did the first set already, so I've already done one row eight. This will be my second set, my second row eight up here. So I have knit a total of six rows for the initial ribbing, then 24 rows of the lace pattern, one row, I did a knit one knit row after the 24 rows of the lace, and then I did another six rows of the ribbing, and now I am going to do a knit bind off. So I'm going to knit two stitches, and I want you to bind this off uh, let's see, yeah, just <clears throat> sort of in, not too tight and not too loose, kind of in the middle. Um, so I just knit and then I lift, pass the stitch over and here is my bind off. And that's it. After you finish binding off, you weave in these ends. And you are finished with your hidden lace cow.